Hello, Williamson County. I'm Carrie Hudson, and welcome to It's About You, an informational program about the classes, activities, and special events of the Williamson County Parks and Recreation Department. Well, as soon as the kids get back into school and football begins, we all know how quickly the calendar fills up. It seems every weekend is reserved for some program or special event, and Williamson County Parks and Recreation wants to be included in your calendar of family fun. Today we'll be talking about a series of fall and winter athletic opportunities and a special department event that will be held the second Saturday in October. Joining me for the first half of our show today is Amber Morris. She's our Assistant Athletic Administrator here to talk about a variety of youth and adult um, athletic opportunities. Amber, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure to have you on. There are always so many different things to talk about when you visit because when you guys roll out a session of leagues, you really roll out a full complement of opportunities for people to participate in a wide variety of seasonal sports. We sure do. <laughs> and fall and winter for 2015 is no different. Um, several things for us to talk about today um, with some youth and adult athletic league opportunities. We'll start with the kids and one of the programs that you've probably played the biggest role in as far as the department's organization of and that's the Franklin Youth Basketball Program. Yeah, we have uh, we took over the Franklin Youth Basketball Program from the um, Franklin Optimist Club um, several years back and that was kind of right as I was coming on board as the youth sports coordinator and kind of took it over and the, um, the individuals who have followed me have just I mean exponentially made it so much better. Um, so we've uh, usually get about 350 kids um, in the Franklin area, which is fantastic. Um, and for the whole program, there is almost uh, five to 6,000 kids um, playing all across the county. So that just kind of shows you how much it's grown and how great the program is and yes, people want is. to keep coming back. So this year we are excited to be able to have our um, youth basketball registration online along with a lot of other things. Um, so we're you know just super excited to get that registration kicked off. Absolutely, and all of the leagues that we're going to be talking about yes. today now offer online registration, which has been a wonderful tool for the department um, in helping to grow a lot of our opportunities for people to participate in our programs. Um, it's so much more convenient for individuals mm -hmm. to register from home or through their mobile device when they're out running around town or, right. or doing other errands, and we've definitely seen proof of that over the past few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, well, in talking about the Franklin Youth Basketball Program, kind of run us through some of the specifics about the ages for the kids who participate in the program. Sure, like yeah, so we're, we go from five all the way up to age 17. Um, so the five and six-year-old league is a co-ed league. They, we join the boys and girls together so that they can just get out there and get some experience. Um, and then once you get to seven and eight and above, that's all going to be gender specific. So there'll be a seven and eight boys league and a seven and eight girls league and so on all the way up to um, 17 years mm -hmm. old. Um, it's, you know, it, it's a great opportunity for, for kids of all levels. We do have middle school players, but we also have um, those who didn't make their middle school teams playing on the older age groups. Um, same thing for high school age kids. Um, just giving the kids an opportunity to get out there and play. Mm -hmm. um, so registration is, um, it's actually going to start on uh, September the 1st, um, so it's already open, and it's going to go through October the 17th. Um, and then we will have a draft day, um, and that really is just a day where the kids show up, going to go through some skills, and then we can uh, pick the teams. And we do that to try to make the teams as even as possible. Yes. It's always more fun when you're playing against teams of kind of equal level. So that's kind of the point of the draft. Um, and we'll do that on um, Wednesday, October the 21st, or Saturday, October the 24th, uh, just kind of depending on what age group you are. Mm -hmm. Um, and then your season actually starts the first weekend in December. Yeah. Um, and so, great way to start off um, the, the holiday season with a little extra activity. <laughs> um, and cost for this, I love how we keep this so affordable. It's $95 for the league, but that includes their uniform. It does. Um, we used to have to do the uniform separately, but now we've just kind of lumped it all together. And, um, and I'm sure parents are just <laughs> thankful that they make one payment and yes. it's done. Yeah, it'll, it will be much nicer for a lot of the parents. Um, and so, yeah, it's just $95, and you can register online uh, by visiting our, if you go to our 
um, wcprathletics.org, there's a direct link. Um, if you end up on the youth basketball page, there will be some kind of product codes um, that you can click on, and it's a, it hyperlinks you right to the page that you need. So it makes it super, super easy. Yes. Um, but if there are any questions, um, you know, people can certainly contact um, Hunter Eubanks, who is our youth sports coordinator, or Danny Mitchell, um, who is the assistant. Um, and they are located at our Nolansville Recreation Center um, now, and so their phone number is um, 7860200. Um, so, you know, shouldn't be a whole lot of questions. A lot of the information should be posted up on the internet, right. but if you do have questions, um, it's always or good having to have troubles, a resource. Yeah, you can always case. contact them. Um, and at the same time we, we are doing this league, we also have the Fairview Youth Basketball Program going as well. Yeah, and it's set up pretty much exactly the same. Um, their registration is going to end a little bit earlier, they'll end on October the 3rd. Um, however, they'll still do the draft, um, they'll still kind of do online registration and all that stuff. Um, so it's, you know, it's going to be a, a great opportunity for the kids this uh, winter time. Lots of fun stuff for them to do. Um, and similar cost fee as well, mm -hmm. it's $95, same thing for children 5 to 17, um, co-ed week, you know, mm -hmm. um, and lots of just wonderful opportunity for kids to enjoy the game of basketball. Yeah. That sounds great. Um, another youth sport um, that you guys are offering registration for this fall, but actually won't start until January of 2016. <laughs> um, so some pre-planning does go into yeah. this one. Um, but a, it's a, a boys' winter soccer league. Yeah. We've also been doing this league for um, a couple of years now. Um, once we opened the indoor arena in Crockett Park, it's kind of when we started this program. So I think that's about five years mm -hmm. ago. Um, and it, you know, it's been fantastic for the kids. It's, it is for just boys. Um, and, um, the ages are going to be from ages six all the way up until 14. And the same thing goes to there. Pretty much all of our sports we do in two year increments. It kind of makes it a little easier. Mm -hmm. Um, so we've got, um, uh, six, the first age group is six, seven, and eight, and mm -hmm. then it's nine and 10 and then 11 and 12 and then 13, 14. Um, so we, we do include a few of the younger kids in the youngest age group to be able to have more kids participate. Um, but yeah, again, that registration is going to be online, so make it super easy on the parents. Absolutely. Um, and again, that one is really cost effective as well. Um, and like you said, I know it, it's, it's hard to start planning for things that happen in January. In October, people have barely even gotten into their fall programming. but. With us starting right after um, we return from the holidays, mm -hmm. we have to have time to be able to get the teams put together so that they can start right away. Exactly. And of course, you've got the holidays, so you lose out on two to three weeks of being able to, you know, get kids in and separate teams out sure. and that kind of stuff. And it's a so. lot about how you program the um, the. Um, floor space at the indoor arena at Crockett Park. Yeah. Um, you know, since it's just one multi-purpose field there, you know, you do have to be a little bit more proactive in how you yeah. schedule it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But like you said, the program's been going for a couple of years now, so there's probably a good amount of interest already in the community for this Absolutely. program. Well, we always have room for new people to participate yeah. as well. And information, again, is going to be available through the athletics website at wcprathletics.org. Not wanting to leave anyone out though, we have tons of adult athletic opportunities as well in some very traditional, well-loved leagues as well as some newer sports. Um, but we'll start off talking with one of the keystones with the adult basketball program. The adult basketball program is, is growing ever so quickly. Um, it's being played at um, Academy Park, the old BGA high school gym is how a lot of people know it. Mm -hmm. um, I still refer to it as Academy Park, but a lot of people give me that look of, oh, where's that at? Um, and when you say the old BGA, they, they know instantaneously, yes. especially if they're from around here. <laughs> um, but in that gym, we've got two, or at that facility, we have two basketball gyms, one in the front and one in the back. And, it, you know, just a great opportunity for adults of all levels of play um, to get out there and, uh, you know, live through their high school years and, and continue playing basketball. Yeah, exactly. And there's different levels based upon the different, um, you know, there are different leagues based upon your different levels. Right. So it kind of helps you be able to get placed into some level kind of more equal to you. Exactly. <laughs> Which of course makes it more fun. Just like with the kids, yes. 
everyone has a better time participating in these kinds of athletic leagues when they can compete against people of similar skill level. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't change as you get any older. <laughs> um, but um, I, you know, I love how Chris structures this program, Chris Gravely, the um, adult sports coordinator, mm -hmm. um, with different levels of opportunity for people to participate. Yes. You know, you've got a men's D2, you've got a church league, you've got a men's 30 and over league. Because yeah. um, we all know what happens after a certain point. Yeah. You're, you're not going to want to go up against the 22 year olds like just coming out of college. You're like, yeah, I'm better off playing with this guy over here. Yeah. Um, so lots of. Um, and he, they do check birthdays. They do they make do. sure you are just over like with 30 the kids. years old. <laughs> yeah. Just like with the kids. We got to check your birthday. Yeah. Gotta make sure you're the right age to participate in the league. Um, both of these leagues will be doing registration through uh, September. Uh, Men's D2 and church go through, I think, um, October the 9th, mm -hmm. so through the first part of October. Uh, the Men's 30 and Over Basketball League um, also goes through the 9th, and then their seasons begin the end of October. So Correct. running through the fall and winter uh, for those. Cost to participate is four seventy five dollars per team. Mm -hmm. So it is one lump team fee. Correct. Um, so now, does that mean that everyone who participates has to come in on a team roster? Yes. Um, typically, the way that um, the adult programs work is a team captain kind of takes, uh, gathers their whole team, gets them all put together, mm -hmm. and um, gets the information to Chris. And then all of those individuals will sign their, their roster. Um, they'll still have to be rostered to the team. Um, but a lot of that work is done by the actual team captain, mm -hmm. uh, kind of putting everybody together. Yeah. But if you are just an individual who wants to play on a team and you don't have a team, you're new to the area or you just kind of get back into it, you can actually contact Chris and what he can do is send out your, he, he calls it, a, I think he calls it a free agent list, but basically puts all the, the names of people looking for teams together and sends that out to the team captain. So for individuals who are looking for another person, that's kind of the way they would yeah. you know, pick up another person. That's a great way to be able to get involved without already being on a team. Gotcha. Wonderful opportunity there as well. Mm -hmm. Registration for this is also going to be available online. So again, check out our athletics website. Um, and there are several other leagues that are going on for adults this fall as well. Um, it's been great to kind of see the resurgence of the volleyball program. I know mm -hmm. Chris, that was something Chris Redding put a lot of himself and a lot of energy into. Um, but they have a wonderful program that they run through the Franklin Recreation Complex now, the two-court gymnasium in that facility with some ample opportunity for volleyball players. Absolutely. And this is a program that has been going on long before I even got here. Um, Chris actually, um, Chris Gravely um, was running that program before I came on board. Um, so it's been through a few people. However, every person has kind of made it a little bit better, a little bit more unique. And yeah, it's, it is definitely growing big time. A lot of people getting into playing volleyball as an adult because mm -hmm. um, it is a fun game and you don't have to be you know a, a semi-pro player you didn't have to play in high school to be able to you know pick it up really quick right um, and so we've seen a, a large increase in our recreation levels um, people just getting out there and then they start to get better and then they can move up into the uh, more advanced level which is kind of cool to see uh, teams be able to progress um, from one to the one level to the next Thanks. level. Um, but yeah, the um, co-ed league typically plays on Thursday nights, um, and then we also have a women's league, which um, is uh, typically played with fours, so just four women on the court at a time, and those are played on Sunday afternoons. Lots of fun. And then there's also going to be a winter adult co-ed soccer league mm -hmm. um, in, in the fall. Registration for it also begins in October. And then there's all the ongoing programs that you all offer through your yearly tennis program, um, table tennis, pickleball, tons of opportunities for people to participate in a variety of different sports. Um, and new new types of games. Yeah. Information about all of these programs again, again is available through our athletic athletics website. I can't even talk <laughs> um, at wcprathletics.org. So you can check that out for more information about all of these programs and a lot, lot more. Amber, I want to thank you for your time. It's been great to have you here today. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Y'all stay tuned. When we come back, we'll be talking about a longtime favorite fall special event coming up the second weekend in October. If you're looking for a loan or you'd like to buy a home When you want to land a job or your identity's been robbed AnnualCreditReport.com, the one you can depend upon 
check your credit to review all your bills and payments too it's as easy as can be and it's absolutely free hey! annualcreditreport.com the one you can depend upon Beware of the others, there's always a catch. They claim to be free, but strings are attached. Their ads can be funny, so don't be deceived. Hold on to your money, there's one site you need. Annualcreditreport.com, the one you can depend upon. Annualcreditreport.com, the one you can depend upon. Annualcreditreport.com, no hidden fees, absolutely free. Welcome back to It's About You. We're talking today about fall athletic and special event opportunities offered by the Williamson County Parks and Recreation Department. For the second half of our show today, we're joined by Whitney Osborne. He's a recreation specialist. She works out of the One View Recreation Center at Spring Hill. And she's here to talk today about probably our most popular special event in the south end of Williamson County. Maybe one of our most special events across the board um, throughout all of Williamson County. An event that for us is not really long term, considering some of our special events are into their 20 if um, yeah. repetitive year. Um, but you know, this one is coming on strong in its ninth year. Um, we are happy to produce the 2015 Touch a Truck Touch event. A truck. Yeah. Yes. I remember the first year we did Touch a Truck in 2007 and people were like, Touch a what? Huh? What? <laughs> what do we do? I know. Right? What? I mean, I'll date myself, but I kept thinking of the Shaka Khan song every time people would talk about it. Like, um, but what an amazing event this has turned out to be, not only for our department, our staff who love putting yes. this event on, but for the community at large as well. Um, so much so that um, Touch of Truck events have kind of taken on their own identity in Williamson County and multiple different organizations do them now yeah. several times throughout the year. But I feel like we were the ones who still yeah. kind of started it the in originals. Williamson County nine years ago with our first event. Um, even though people might know more about what Touch a Truck is now, Whitney, give us kind of a brief um, event description um, of, of this um, special event and what you guys have planned coming up in October. Kids will have an opportunity to come and climb on a variety of different trucks and vehicles um, from across the county. Um, service vehicles, construction vehicles, I mean, you name it, it it's probably there or has been there. Um, but they'll, they'll have an opportunity to talk to the different community service workers, the police department, fire department, things like that. Um, we'll have different uh, entertainment, food. It's just a fun family event. It is, and it's something that kids of all ages, yes. young and old, really do seem to enjoy. Yes. I see maybe just as many fathers as excited the big as kids. their children, yeah, yeah. the big kids, <laughs> um, as their kids about some of the things that they get to see and experience at Touch a Truck. This really is a hands-on yes. event. Um, I mean, kids get to sit in the driver's seat and um, really have an experience with some of these larger-than-life vehicles they um, they see on almost a daily basis. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like you said, it's community service vehicles and it's everything from the fire truck and the police car and the ambulance um, to the garbage truck. I mean, yeah. Ramsey, when she was two, loved garbage trucks. They were better than cake. I don't know why. Um, but, you know, some of those things um, that, you know, different types of um, construction equipment, mm -hmm. earth movers, um, you know, these larger than life things that it's, you know, usually just, you know, awe inspiring enough for them to look at. Look at yeah. And now they, they get to go climb on the tires and sit in the wheels and mm -hmm. somebody will pick them up and put them in the driver's seat. And the, the first time I saw a kid get to pull the horn on one of those trucks, I mean, I literally thought, Made their yeah, yeah. That, that that was just it for him. I mean, just the sheer look of joy on his face um, was more than I ever needed. Um, to be a part of that event. It was really a very, very special thing. And then there's more kind of everyday things um, that maybe some kids are used to seeing and some kids might not be if they live in more urban areas. Maybe they're not used to seeing tractors and um, just zero turn mowers, but you know, things that they all seem to gravitate to and find so interesting and so appealing um, on so many different levels. Definitely. There's school buses mm -hmm. and some of the fads party buses, yeah. which, hey adults, 
<laughs> like, check this out. You can next rent birthday. these. Yeah. yeah, and your next birthday is all taken care of. Um, but it's fun for kids to see those. Yeah. Um, I know a couple years they've brought out like their double-decker English bus. Um, that's just a different thing for kids to see, you know, the mass transit system yes. and all those different kinds of vehicles. All of that is represented in around the 30 different vehicles that we accumulate for Touch a Truck to give um, families a wide variety of experiences. Exactly. Um, and then, you know, going along with that, um, other things that you mentioned as well, um, the free entertainment yeah. that always has, always has been a great attraction, um, not only for the participants coming but um, to touch a truck, but for the people that are actually participating yeah, on stage the performers. and getting yeah. to have an opportunity to show off what they do and what they love doing to the community. Definitely. Tell us a little bit about your performing stage this year and kind of some um, of the acts that are going to be appearing yeah. at Touch a Truck. We've got s several great acts uh, lined up this year. We have um, Parker's Original will be doing balloon shows and magic shows. Um, and then we have Polynesian Dancers again this year, and they always love coming out and showing up their different moves. Um, our Rhythm and Spirits performance team will be there doing an act and then um, Dreams Do Come True princesses will make an appearance. So it's a wide variety of, of entertainment that I think the whole family will enjoy. Will enjoy. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what we really try to do with this event is make it a family inclusive mm -hmm. event. You know, so maybe if a tr if a t if touching trucks is not right up one of your kids' alley, then maybe they want to meet the Disney princesses. Exactly. So a little bit of something for everyone to try to round out their day. Um, another component of this event that has always been very successful as well is the craft tent. Yes, yes, the craft tent is always a huge su success. Um, each kid will have an opportunity to paint their own little truck to take home as a souvenir. Um, it's always a fun. Uh, activity for the kids. Um, so yeah, everybody will have a chance for that. Uh, we also have face painting and balloon artists, so lots of fun takeaways for the yes, day. Yes, lots of fun takeaways for the day. I love that. Um, and then another component that was added just a couple of years ago, but a lot of the younger kids really seem to enjoy and have fun with, are the trackless train rides. Back by high demand. A, uh, DNH Railroad will be back, um, and he does the, like you said, the trackless train rides. They're only a dollar a ride, which is great for for all that you get to do. Um, and so yeah, it's a wonderful event. A wonderful and then we round it all out with some wonderful food vendors, because yes. um, this is a day long event, and yes. so of course at some point in time you're going to need a little refreshment. Eat some munchies. Yeah. So. This year we have Kona Ice will be there with their shaved ice. Um, Mo Better will be there for all your food needs of barbecue, hamburgers, hot dogs, chips, drinks. Um, let's see who else. Itty Bitty Donuts will be there selling delicious donuts. Um, and who doesn't love that? Exactly. Uh, Sweet Cece's will be there with their frozen yogurt, Dee's Kettle Corn. Um, Chick-fil-A will be there with uh, chicken, sandwich, chicken sandwiches. Excuse me. Um, so we have a wide variety. Uh, for everybody and um, just remember to bring your cash. Exactly. Um, and that's a good point about this event. Um, this event has, is graciously hosted yes. at, um, in the parking lot of the Thompson Station Church, um, which is at the main intersection in Thompson Station, really at the intersection it. of Thompson Station Road and Columbia or Highway, 36, or Highway 31, 31. Mm -hmm. excuse me. Um, what an amazing partnership we've had yes. with this organization for the full um, eight going on nine years that we've um, offered Touch a Truck to the community. Since day one, they have been opened. Um, very gracious. Very gracious to us, opened their doors yeah. to us, not only to use their expansive parking lot, mm -hmm. but also to have access inside the main building for restrooms and just a place to cool off because even yes. in October, it can yeah. still get kind of warm in Williamson County. Um, so always thankful for their participation. Um, this event is coming up Saturday. October the 10th. It is from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Mark your calendars yes. now. Um, this event is free and open to the public. There's no cost, um, there's no gate cost to get into the event, nor, nor any parking fees. Um, there are some costs occurred for the trackless train mm -hmm. rides, which you mentioned are only a dollar a ride, and concessions as well. Um, but because this event is done in the parking lot of Thompson Station Church, we do like to give people advance warning that they should plan to bring cash. Yes. Um, if they would want to purchase refreshments or to do one of the train rides, there's not available services on site uh, for ATM or, or cash, 
cash withdrawals. Mm -hmm. But everything else about the event is free. Touch a truck is free. The craft tent is free. Face painting is free. Balloon art mm -hmm. is free. All of that is just raffle something tent. that yeah. There's a great raffle tent. Yes, yes we need to mention that as well. That. Um, everyone can enter for a chance to win an assortment of prizes. You have some wonderful gift baskets that are donated by some of your sponsors, and as well as some kids' motorized vehicles um, as well. So kids can take their own truck home. Yes. Um, at, after touch a truck and and have their own. <laughs> Touch, uh, truck to touch. Um, so a really wonderful day, um, something for the whole family to enjoy. And our family's been for a couple of years now and we look forward to going every single year. It is just that great of an event in this community um, for people to participate in. Um, we do want to highlight though all of your wonderful community sponsors. Yes. We've mentioned a few of them by name already because some of them are participating as vendors at this yes. event, um, but you really have a large list of local businesses and organizations that see the value in this um, and want to be able to help contribute and give something back to their community. Definitely. Um, and so I'm going to let you kind of run through this list of sponsors. Okay. Um, I wish we had more of a way to give them all their, 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 yeah. their true credit for what they do for this event. Um, but just run through that list for us real all quick. Right. We have uh, the Children's Academy, Elite Physical Therapy, Sports Clips, Unity Chiropractic, True Roots, Shell Fast Stop, Culver's, Little Sluggers, Chick-fil-A, PetSmart, Shoe Carnival, Captain D's, Hibbit Sports, McDonald's, Itty Bitty Donuts, um, Kona Ice, Sweet CC's, Buffalo Wild Wings, Dreams Do Come True, uh, Gentry's Farm, and Dara Waltrip. Wonderful Ooh. support from <laughs> all of them. Um, and we couldn't thank you all enough for being involved in Touch a Truck and helping us produce this event for the community and for the kids and the families in this Definitely. area to have a wonderful opportunity um, to participate in a great, fun, family-friendly, special event. So all of our thanks goes out to you guys um, as well. Um, again, this event is coming up on Saturday, October the 10th, beginning at 9 a.m. in the parking lot of Thompson Station Church in Thompson Station, just south of Franklin off of Highway 31. Just keep going down Columbia Avenue and you are not going to miss it. Um, the intersection does tend to get a little crowded at yes. points as people are turning into the church and getting um, squared away with parking. So we do have sheriff's deputies yes. that are on site during the event helping to direct traffic and get people safely into the parking lots and to the event as well. Um, never seems to be much of a traffic holdup. No. Um, so always seems to move very smoothly for us. And again, just another fun event that we are really looking forward to being involved with. Definitely. I actually talked to a lady just um, a couple weeks ago saying that I think they homeschool, um, but they said they scheduled their fall break around this event. They do not miss it. Perfect. So. We love hearing that. Yes. Awesome. Well, Whitney, I wish you the best of luck with the event. I know thank it you. will be another successful one for the department as well. Um, and thank you for your time today. My pleasure. All right. In wrapping up today, just to highlight a few of the things that we have talked about. Remember, we have registration going on now for a ton of athletic opportunities for youth and adult participants, from our traditional basketball programs to um, a boys' winter soccer league, co-ed soccer for adults, volleyball for adults, and the list really does go on and on. So be sure to visit our athletics website at wcprathletics.org for more information about all of those events. You can also get information about a wide variety of other departmental events events going on this fall quarter um, by visiting our department website at wcparksandrec.com. And again, don't forget to take advantage of our new easy and convenient online registration system. Links to the online registration system are available through our athletics and department websites and registration for almost all of our fall programs for September through November are currently on that site and are ready for you to start registering for. So take advantage of that as well. I wanna thank you guys for joining us today. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember Williamson County, it's all about you. Mm -hmm.